By 1868, London was the centre of the largest empire the world had ever known. The city attracted the greatest thinkers from all parts of the world, each an ally who will help you fight against exploitation. Alexander Graham Bell, Scottish inventor and engineer. Inspired by the deafness of loved ones, he studied acoustics and was one of the early inventors of the telephone and other modern marvels. I've been working in something that's meant to stun an assailant. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. Karl Marx, the author of the Communist Manifesto, in his writing and in speeches, spent his life fighting for the rights of workers. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things first? Sod it. We accept. Charles Darwin, father of the theory of evolution, his ideas defied popular thinking about the origin of species. I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it. Lately, however, attacks have taken a darker turn. Charles Dickens, in Oliver Twist and other tales, the novelist highlighted the plight of the poor, opening the eyes of the city's inhabitants to the deprivation around them. Here we are, in the world's most advanced city, yet its citizens leave themselves vulnerable to charlatans. Nearby. Bring her inside. Florence Nightingale. Her vision took nursing out of the home and turned it into a profession and set the standard for modern health care. Queen Victoria came to embody the century. She was known as the Grandmother of Europe. Your Majesty. And her 64-year reign saw the entire century dubbed the Victorian Era. I call upon you to foil this traitorous plot. Now it's your turn to make history. Discover the secrets behind London's greatest men and women. The work begins immediately. Will you join us? Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. What was the fun in that?